Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach and surpass over 500 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. I think it's absolutely great that I can now reach out and transfer some knowledge about Ionic React and Ionic React to over 500 of you. So thank you so much for the support and I hope that you enjoy the new content coming into the new year. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Join over 500 people here that are enjoying the content and getting some knowledge along the way. So today's video is all about the Ionic React migration to version number six. Ionic version six is finally released, the long awaited and long anticipated version six with all those beautiful components that have been introduced to the framework. So we've got lots of additions in version six, including lots of design changes and lots of new components, including the accordion, breadcrumbs, the bottom sheet modal and more. There's also some other things which I will cover in further videos here after this one. I have covered some of the components previously as part of the beta. If you want to check those out, I will leave these on screen, but I will be refreshing that content with the official released Ionic 6 and going in depth into each component itself. But today I'm focusing on the migration and I'm gonna bring up the migration guide now. So as I said, for Angular and Vue, very easy as well, a very, very easy migration here for Ionic version six. However, as a developer, you know, and I know that whenever something gets released and we're presented with uh, an upgrade guide, we tend to go very fast through these steps. And sometimes we can naturally just miss something. I missed something in the version six upgrade, which white screened my application. And I was very frustrated and I, I didn't know what I did wrong until I went over and read over the migration guide again. Now I've seen this issue crop up a few times now as well from other people and I've helped them out and pointed them to this specific issue. So I wanted to just create this video and go slowly through the steps, take you through each step and pinpoint that issue that was cropping up. So stay tuned here for another minute or so where I will highlight that issue. So the first step in the migration specifically for React is to upgrade your React and React DOM to the latest version. Ionic 6 now supports React 17 plus. So that is absolutely great news. The second step is to upgrade obviously our Ionic version to version six. We can do this very easily by NPM installing Ionic React 6 and Ionic React Router 6. Very easy, very simple. Moving on, step number three, we need to update the test field in the scripts object, which is found in your package.json file. Point number four, step number four in the migration guide. This is where I've seen a few issues coming up. This is the issue that I hit and it's in plain sight. It's written in plain sight what you need to do, but as a developer trying to get through this migration and being so excited about Ionic 6, you just miss things and that's just natural. So I wanted to put this together just to sort of calm your mind and show you that it is actually really simple. So number four says import and call setup Ionic React in your app component file. If you're also using setup config, pass your config to setup Ionic React instead. So if you were using setup config from Ionic React, you would replace that with setup Ionic React and then pass your config to that instead. So within your app.tsx or JSX, depending whether you use TypeScript or not, you would import it top level where all of your imports naturally are. And then you would just call that and pass your config options in that way. Now, this is where the problem came in for me. And look at this note. Take note of this note. Developers must import and call setup Ionic React even if they are not setting custom config. So what that means is we need to import setup Ionic React at the top level within our app file, 
even if we aren't using any custom config, we then also need to call that function. That's the key here. If you miss that step or that sub step, you're going to white screen your app and you're going to get really frustrated and not really know what's going on. So make sure to call that and on screen, hopefully you've seen me doing that and showing you where to call that and how to call it. You don't even need to pass in any options. You don't even need to pass in a blank object. Just call that and you are good to go. And that's it guys. That's the migration to Ionic 6. Now, if you're coming from Ionic 4 or any earlier versions, it is very good practice to upgrade incrementally. So if you're coming from Ionic version 4, first of all, upgrade to 5 and then upgrade to 6. You don't want to encounter any breaking changes from 4 to 6 because it will be harder to sort of debug and, and fix that way. So definitely, definitely upgrade in incremented stages. But in terms of upgrading to Ionic 6, this was the guide. That little last step there, just take it slow and make sure you get that sub step of actually calling that function. Otherwise you will white screen. You can catch me on Twitter at 93Allen. I am also on the official Ionic Discord server now. I'm very active within the Ionic React channel, obviously. So if you have any questions or any issues or you just want to say hi, jump onto the Discord and you'll find me in the Ionic React channel. I will post the link to the Discord in the description of this video. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. It really helps me out. And if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.